Hi everyone, and welcome to Visualization for Caveman to Cosmos. So, this is a result of a vote we had over on Patreon recently, where people nominated a bunch of games for a poll, and then we selected this one, which is probably not very surprising. And the idea originally was that I will post some of it here on YouTube and then the rest on Patreon. But I don't know how that will go, because in case you don't know, Caveman to Cosmos is a massive mod for Civilization 4, one of the many huge mods Civilization 4 had. And playing a full game from start to finish, it takes a very long time. So I actually don't know how this will go. I will improvise. I already played it a little bit, and I actually originally started playing it in 1440p. However, some of the UI elements were just way too tiny, and I went back to 180p. Even in 180p, some of the UI elements are pretty damn small, as you'll see. And by the way, just a fair advance warning, I haven't really played Civilization 4 basically since Civilization 5 release, so over 15 years now. I don't really remember the mechanics all that well. I probably forgot 80% of the Civilization 4 mechanics. And then we have this mod on top of that. So, yeah. <laughs> it's quite possible I will just straight up lose, but I have no idea how this will go. And, by the way, there are a lot of advanced options in here. I actually uh, enabled this one originally, but I think I'll keep it disabled. I did disable tag brokering, because I never really liked it that much. You can still trade tags, just not the tags you haven't researched yourself. Other than that, yeah, advanced nukes. I don't know if we'll get that far, but hey, give me bigger nukes if possible. And other than that, I will play on Pangea. And uh, I figured like Monarch should be fine as far as difficulty goes, because I don't want it to be like too easy, but I also don't want like to lose in the first hour of the game. And uh, I definitely would on the highest difficulties, considering I literally don't really remember almost anything about Civilization 4. Like I said, I haven't played the Civ 4 in over 15 years. And then we got this mod on top of it. As for our save, I think I'll just go with the random, because it doesn't matter as much as it does in Civilization 5 or 6, because you get uh, basically a pool of trades, and each leader has three of those. So many of them will repeat. I think we'll just go with random. I'm fine getting something random. And uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be changing anything else. By the way, if you wanted to see a lot more of this, leave a like and post a comment. Let me know when you originally started playing Civilization. For me, it was actually Civilization 1 in the early 90s. I got my first PC in late 1992, and Civilization 1 was probably one of the first 10 games I played. It wasn't the first, but I definitely started playing it pretty early after that. So, okay, we are Nomad, Humanitarian, and Hunter-Gatherer. We can check what that means uh, in the Civilopedia here. And we are Red Cloud, alright. Works for me, I guess. So, Nomad, Humanitarian, and Hunter-Gatherer. Let's take a look, it should be in here somewhere. Okay, hold on, where is it gonna be? Leaders. Okay, we were Red Cloud. So, down here. Okay, let's take a look. Nomad, that's a lot of stuff. Humanitarian. Plus two health per city. That's actually pretty good, because I don't know that's a pretty important mechanic in here. Plus one happiness per city, and plus two happiness in six largest cities. Plus 20% war weariness. I assume that's what this is. Yeah, and a whole bunch of stuff. More happiness from mostly health-related buildings. Plus 20% production to, like, every single one of these here. 
plus 20% maintenance costs from a number of cities, plus 75% modifier to worker speeds when they build a nature preserve. Okay, which is this. Okay, all right. We are also a nomad, plus one happiness from access to horse and camel resources. Okay, plus one food from uh, all of these, plus one production from wetlands camp. I'm not sure what this is exactly. Gold? I think so. And we are also hunter-gatherer. This is a negative trait. Plus one food on plots with six food. Minus 50% food from trade, I assume. Plus one food from these. Minus 20% culture. Plus 10% civic upkeep. Plus 20% production from granary and modern granary. Okay, so I assume the biggest downside here is minus 20% culture and also minus 50% food from trade potentially and the plus 10% civic upkeep. Okay, well, I guess that works. Favorite civic and the religion. Okay, shamanism. Interesting. Plus 4% culture if it's a state religion in the holy city, and the plus two percent culture in all cities. Founded by first to discover shamanism. Okay. Well then, let's get started. We know what we need to know. <laughs> I think. I can always just go back here and read this. It's gonna be fine. Now, as far as I can tell, you cannot start new cities in the caveman to cosmos until tribalism. Because tribalism unlocks the tribe unit, which can found a new city. And before that, you have... I can find it here, I think. You have ancestral band, which is the unit we start with. But as far as I can tell, this is only a unit you get on turn one to start your capital. You cannot actually recruit this unit anywhere. Zero allowed. So you have to get the tr uh, tribalism uh, tech. And then you can recruit a tribe. I might be wrong, but as far as I can tell, this seems to be the case. So prehistoric era will be a bit of a slow burner. By the way, Look at how crazy this thing gets. So like this is the atomic era right here. And we are only halfway through the eras. Then we have like information lifestyle right here. Then we have nanotech over here. Then we have transhuman, which is this. Then we have galactic. Then we have cosmic <laughs> and then transcendent. Like this thing is insane. It's actually crazy. So, yeah. I don't know how long it would take to play a full game from start to finish, but it would take a while. Uh, let's move this guy. Okay, that didn't reveal much. And see what I meant about the UI elements being tiny? This is in 180p, and they are already, like, really, really small. So, that's why... I switched back to 1080p. Alright, well, I think we'll just settle on spot. I could go here instead. Right here. What's this? Tropical coast. Okay, interesting. So, in Civilization 4, the workable area for a city is two tiles out, except the extreme diagonal tiles. So, it's kind of a cross. So, if I settle on spot, we will get everything that's two tiles away from the city, except like this one, this one, and this one, and this one. So I guess I could move here. I could also move here. That's probably not a terrible idea. Okay, let's move here. We will still be a coastal city. I think that's probably reasonable. Oh, we also have a goodie hut right here, tribal village. Okay, well, let's settle on spot. Kahokia. There we go. We'll go grab the goody hut. Oh, it grabbed itself and we got a brood. Okay. 
So, now we have an alpha male and alpha female here, which is basically a building. I know that sounds a bit weird, but these things are basically buildings. One of them decreases unhealthiness and the other one decreases crime. So let's decrease unhealthiness because it's going to block our growth, like basically right away. Right here. So, yeah. And it will take a while before the city grows, by the way. Just so you know. This here is a tribal guardian, he cannot leave the city. Alright then. Yeah, Kahokia has become unhealthy. Unsurprisingly. What did we research? Alright, let's grab a cave dwelling. Plus one health in all cities. We obviously want that. And we'll go explore a little bit. We'll probably run into some animals. And some of them are actually like pretty damn strong. I had a fox kick my ass really hard when I was testing this. Is more well, there it is. Plus one health in all cities. Enable city garrison. Alright. So next up. Let me just check the whole tree real quick. So we want to reveal resources. Which will happen pretty early here. Uh, some of these things will reveal resources. First to discover receives a gatherer. Uh, okay. That actually sounds pretty useful. Well then. Okay, well, let's just get nomadism. We don't want a wanderer anyway. That's basically a scout kind of unit. As far as I can tell, yeah, it's a recon type of unit. So, yeah, nomadism is fine. Two turns. Okay. Wait, did we finish? Yeah, we did. Right. Okay, let's get the alpha male. Uh, where are the buildings here? Yeah, this interface is like slightly confusing. I find it a little bit confusing anyway. I'm not sure where I can find stuff I already built. There's a lot going on here. Okay, now I'm actually not sure <laughs> where I can see things I already... Oh yeah, right here. Yeah, okay, here. Yeah, so this is minus three disease. Right, not unhealthiness, disease. Well, anyway, that's fine. Either way, my point is that this is basically a building, like I said. Sounds weird, but it is what it is. Alright, let's keep moving, we'll explore. Right, let's grab this tribal village over here, obviously. So this is desert right here. Looks a little bit too brown to me, but all right. There's the Madism. So let's get the gathering. Chances are we will not be first, but look at all the resources this will reveal. So we definitely want that. There, we got alpha male now. So, I guess we'll just grab a Wanderer to scout around. Okay. Wait, the Gatherer has been born. Oh, we received one research towards Gathering. Okay. Fair enough. Interesting starting area. This is Pangea. So, okay. It must be, like, at the end of it or something, like, in the corner. There's the Wanderer. Yeah, not much I can do in terms of buildings, as you can see. So, I mean, I guess we'll just get some actual units to potentially defend ourselves. Sounds good to me. Okay, yeah, this is a dead end. Fair enough. Is that a neighbor? No, that's not a neighbor. That's like an animal. For nature, Whoops. It is a time uh, of I did not want to do that. Scattering abroad. Right, there's the brood. So now we can get some actual buildings here. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, I can't take a look at the resources without actually picking something in here. 
Well, production would definitely be good. So, resources. We can enable some icons. There we go. What do we have here? What's this? Uh, rubber. Yeah, we will not be getting chemistry anytime soon. Wheat. Required seed camp. Okay, and uh, yeah, there we go. We got the gatherer. And the brood. You can stay. Wait, can we get a seed camp already? Or not yet? Can I get anything here? I think not yet. Wait, a different unit. Yeah, no, we can get seed camp right here. This will consume the unit, but it will provide us with wheat. Plus one health. Okay. Well, that works. Let's go explore some more. So what's this? Oh, copy. Okay, then. Yeah, survival odds, zero percent. How about no? We have zero percent chance of victory. Yeah, I don't think I'll be attacking that thing. It might attack me, however. Uh, that's entirely possible, yeah. That is entirely possible. Yeah, we're definitely, like, on some kind of coast. Basically at the end of Pangea. This does not look like much of a Pangea to me right now, but that's just typical. I'm not surprised whatsoever. Wait, what? Subdued Tukan? What? <laughs> uh, okay, wait, what on earth? What? That is a bit weird, but okay. And we also got a level up. And there are quite a few different promotions here. And close. So, plus 15% versus recons. Okay, I would like something universal, perhaps. Let's see. We can just pick up combat 1. Guerrilla 1. Wardsman. Okay, let's just pick up combat 1, I think. Plus 25% jungle defense and forest defense. I mean, that's good as long as you're in a forest. Alright, let's just get straight up plus 10% strength for now. The time for fancier promotions will probably be later. Okay, weaving. Whatever he does to the web, scavenging. Yeah, reveals even more resources. Let's do that. We definitely want to reveal more stuff. And by the way, in C4 you can zoom out quite a bit. Like this. Yeah, this is a bit of a dead end. I hope our expansion will not get blocked by someone. Because that would be real awkward, you know. We haven't met anyone yet, but that doesn't mean we won't. Sometime soon. Okay, more production. Yeah, let's get some production. Because that will speed up everything else. Okay, yep, sounds good. Keep going. And as I said at the start, I fully expect that this uh, first era to be a bit of a slow burner. It most likely will be. But maybe that's a good thing. Dead. And being eaten by a vulture. Gives me some time to get used to it. It's okay to feed some bits of your friend to one of the vultures. <laughs> teach him to do some tricks. What the heck? But only if you're serious about it. <laughs> okay, bro. Herbalism. Okay. Deception. Can train a watcher. Exile. Language. Plus on happiness in all cities. Controlled fire. Reveals charcoal. Interesting. Can you construct captured fire, fire pit, hot potato? What on earth? What the heck is this? Requires games. Okay. Interesting. Fire pit. Captured fire. It's a national wonder. 
starts a golden age. Plus 10% faster construction of fire pit, emo, bonfire, charcoal, burner in all cities. Required stick gatherer or ancient customs. Required controlled fire. Okay, that's interesting. Sure, let's research controlled fire. What are we building right now again? A grass gatherer. Well, I could switch that. Uh, we did get a stick gatherer already, no? right? No, we got driftwood gatherer. Yeah, but I really need to get used to this UI, not gonna lie. There's stick gatherer. That was required, right? Was it? Uh, there's no actual search in the Civilopedia, unfortunately. I think I lost the production here if I cancel this. But okay, let's get stick gather. Carry on. Oh, yep. We met Stalin of the Russian Empire. In the prehistoric era? Okay, bro. Well then. Do you have a death wish? No, I do not. Yeah, not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> Interesting first neighbor to get, you know? I don't know how I feel about this. That could be bad news. That could definitely be bad news. Deceiver, politician, and cruel. Yeah, okay. I hope he won't block my expansion here. That would be pretty bad. But that would be just my luck, you know? That would actually be just my luck when I picked a Pangea map specifically to not get like boxed in or limited in expansion early on. If you ever catch on fire. All right, well, uh, there's controlled fire. In the mirror, because I bet that's what Herbalism, deception. Tool making. Reveals stone tools, okay. Let's grab language. So, right, let's finish the stick gatherer now. We'll keep exploring here. Oh, yeah, now I'm being blocked right here. Need to go this. No, I can't go here either. Yeah, but I'm actually blocked here. All right. Uh, yep. So, Jurtoka was destroyed. Okay. Well, it is what it is. There's the stick gatherer. So, now I could build... Uh, the captured fire wonder, I guess. That would take eight turns. Why not? Why the heck not? We could do that. National wonder, zero left. What do you mean zero left? Alright, what the heck? Let's build it. Get out of here. I'll probably lose more units here, but alright. Okay, where is his actual capital? There, language. Which is not only the vehicle of thought, it is a great and efficient instrument. Thank you. Right, so we can implement a civic. Right here, actually. Quite a lot of them. Yeah, that's a pretty long list right here. That is a very long list, wow. Yeah, right here, native language. Non-verbal, plus one unhealthiness in all cities. Native language, plus one percent gold, research and culture in all cities, plus two percent in the capital. Improves relations with Russia. Okay, well, we definitely want that. There you go. Oral tradition, plus one happiness in all cities. Okay. How about, like, some better units? That might take a while before we can get those. Yeah, there's a lot in here. Look at how much stuff there is just in prehistoric era alone. It's kind of nuts. Trails. Okay, that's not super useful to fight. Maybe that's a bit better. 
exile? What is this all about? Civilian branch. Can attack without declaring war. Hidden nationality. Interesting. And invisible to most units. Okay, well, let's get deception. <laughs> With this kind of neighbor, we're going to need deception, alright? I think so. That's entirely fair to say. Carry on. Yep, we adopted native language, nice. Keep moving. I want to find his capital here. Should be somewhere around here. Rabbit. Okay. Uh, wait, is this it? Is he red? Yeah, he is red. So this is actually it, over here. Uh, okay, it's not as close as I was worried it might be. We should be fine. It's closer than I hoped and the further away than I feared. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So, all right. Hopefully we'll be fine. This looks like a nice area for a city. Never attempt to win by force. Okay, we got deception. By deception. What's next? So how far away are we from, like, tribalism? It's over here. Where was it? Yeah, it's not close. What if I just click on that? Wow, okay, 46 tags. To be fair, most of them are done in like two, three turns. But this is gonna take a while. Tool making. Stone tool maker. Workers build improvements 10% faster, reveals stone tools. What do you mean reveals stone tools? As like a research on the map or what the heck? <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. But okay. There's so much I don't know about this. So hopefully I'm not going to lose terribly on this difficulty. That will be a bit awkward. But it could happen. We'll get a stack of doom coming our way and that will be it. That could definitely happen. We're still building the wonder, right? Okay, three more turns. And then we probably want some improvements. Almost certainly. Alright. They're still making. Nowhere do you find him Next up. Tools. Without tools here, shelter building. With tools. Can build fortified cave. What? Wait, 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 what? Hold on, hold on. What's this? Can we build outside of cultural borders? Plus 15% air defense. What do you mean air defense? We're in prehistoric era. What air defense? What are we gonna defend against? Pterodactyls? <laughs> what on earth? Okay, alright. Well, sure. I mean, it's a defensive building, obviously. Okay, all right. Acts as a city for combat purposes. Okay, all right, all right. What else do we have in here? Workers build improvements faster. Okay, let's just grab herbalism. And probably oral tradition. Yep, sounds good. Wait, wait, barbarians, barbarians. Uh, maybe I should have kept more units in here. Because I effectively kept only two. Which, you know, might not be enough. Right, that's a scout, so we'll keep him exploring. Yeah, let's maybe head back with some of these guys. Like this stone thrower. He's a little bit far away, but he can start heading back towards our capital. Yeah, we'd want to get rid of this brood. Congratulations, you have completed your first national wonder. Right, that was a national wonder. I mean, obviously. These powerful buildings are used for specializing your cities. It is wise to plan ahead, though. As only two national wonders can be built in each one. Okay. Well, there you go. We captured some fire. No more wonders for now. 
Uh, right, let's grab a gatherer, I think. Yep, that's only one turn as well. So let me check this again real quick. Right, capture the fire. Plus one health, plus one happiness, plus five culture. Okay. And starts a golden age. Okay. Wait, what? The build in 163,266 BC? What? That's the year right now? Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Fine, I guess. We have plenty of time, apparently. Will he attack us? Yes, yes, I know enemy has been spotted. Uh, let's queue up maybe like one more brood. Okay, one more brood. So I can't believe the city with the other unit in here. A tribal guardian. Because he can only like stay inside the city. Yeah, I can't attack with this guy. It's defensive only. Uh, let's get some of these resources. What's our chance to win? Uh, okay, 99.42%. I guess that works. Uh, okay, great, the general. What? <laughs> well, all right. Not what I expected. Definitely not what I expected. Okay, we got ourselves a great general. Lead the troops as warlord. Gives a total of 30 experience to units in the same tile. Okay, when attached to a unit, one extra first strike. Interesting. Join the city as a great military instructor. Plus two gold, plus two experience to combatants type units trained in the city. Yeah, I think we should do this. Plus two gold is actually a lot right now. Okay, what the heck? Let's do that. There. Okay. Herbalism? Smoke the herb. It reveals you to yourself. Oral tradition next. Get some happiness. Right, so... Let's see. Growing, 47 turns. It will take a while before we grow. It will definitely take a while. I'm still a bit confused by this interface. <laughs> I'll be totally honest with you. Can spawn a barbarian exile. Okay, this is required to train an exile. Right. More food probably wouldn't hurt. Okay, berry gatherer, that's one turn. Huh. So what can we build here? Can we get the scavenging camp? Yes. Alright, let's grab the scavenging camp. Yield changes, plus free food. Okay. And plus one health from the rabbit. Right, that seems like a lot. I'm not used to these kinds of yields. What are we working right now? Yeah, we're working the food. That obviously makes sense. We don't want to grow beyond one population. Preferably soon-ish. Okay, we leveled up on the broad. I think I'll just grab... A strength. Or combat 1, rather. Okay, let's just get combat 2. Wow, okay, combat 3. That is quite a few different promotions, though. I'm gonna play it simple for now, just get combat free. Strength, 0 0.92. Yeah, let's just keep him here in our city. Somebody has to defend it, right? The other guy. Armed guard. Plus 10% modifier to defense. Okay. Ards promoted to the list of the units combat classes. Right. Decoys. 
Goud, Bugdown, Wardsman, Gorilla. Okay. Combat 1. Yeah, I'll just grab Combat 1. Keep it simple for now. <laughs> oh, look, this guy looks familiar. Yes, he does. Indeed. Your forces are under attack by Neanderthals. Uh, that doesn't sound good. I think they got killed. There's the berry gatherer. Yeah, so unless I got it wrong, it will take a while before we are able to start another city. Fire pit. Yeah, let's grab that. Some culture. Not cracking stone, okay. Storage pit. Tuber gatherer. Alright, well, let's not overcomplicate this. We'll get the fire pit, that's three turns. Alright, that's the scout, let's keep going. Yeah, if the scouts get attacked, they will get killed pretty easily. So let's not get attacked. A mammoth! I assume that will despawn later in the game, because that would make sense, I don't know. We tell the story. Storyteller. The people came here. Upkeep to gold, can explore rival territory. Back to the Native Americans. Okay. And coming all the way forward. The oral tradition. And let's see what that actually does really quick. We almost definitely want it, but I want to see the effect. Wait, where is it? Right here. Okay. So ignorance is plus one happiness in all cities. Well, I guess ignorance is bliss indeed. But it decreases, like, basically all yields. Research, culture, gold. Alright, well, oral tradition it is then. Let's go. Next up. Trails. Right, I assume that's, like, basically an early road. Yep. Okay. Enables some promotions. Sure, I suppose we can do that. What's this again? Can build salt gatherer. Alright, let's get the trails. Keep going. Our golden age has ended, unfortunately. It is what it is. Your forces are under attack. Wait, what? While defending, your wanderer was destroyed by a thief. Hey! That's not nice. That is not nice at all. I might have to get a new scouts at this rate. Because they'll get killed. Okay, there's the city right there. Okay. There, trails. So this enables a scout. Okay. Counting. Yeah, sure. I can construct counting sticks, tally stone, it leads to games. Okay, all right. I think that's education right here, that icon. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I mean, makes sense in this context. So, uh, we got the fire pit. Let's check buildings really quick. And some more production. Yeah, this will take literally one turn. So let's grab that. Hopefully I, I won't have to actually fight anyone in the nearest future, because getting a proper army is gonna take a while, I think. Minus one relations. It seems like a bit of a weird picture to be using in prehistoric era, but okay. There's a grass gatherer. Community discussions. 
right? More food. Uh, how's our city growth now? Are we close? Uh, 48 turns. Wasn't it at like 49 10 turns ago? I think it was. Okay, let's check this. Total food consumed, 4. Okay. Interesting. Also, I can increase some funds for... I think this is espionage, right? But I don't think I want it right now. We should keep science at 100%, I think. Well, I could lower it a little bit to start getting at least a little bit of money. Even like one per turn. That would be good. Yeah, let's at least get one per turn because I might need money for something. Eventually. Well, eventually we will need money. Clearly. Alright. And catcher. Let's see. Plus one on healthiness, plus one food. Plus one health, plus one food. Okay. That works. Converts 30% of your production to science. 2.1. Okay. What's our current output? Where can we see it? Words are actual. Yeah, here. Plus 10 per turn. All right. There. We can count now. Nice. The shelter building. Yeah, that's the fortified cave thing. And what's Abatis? Buildings enabled. And that's a lot of buildings. Sure, I guess we can re uh, research that. Can train the chaser, master chaser, Neanderthal chaser. Okay, what is this? National unit, five allowed. This unit can initiate assassinations against units on the same tile. Starts with by the horns. Interesting. So we can stand on the same tile as like some animal or something? That sounds interesting. We can research that, why not? Okay. Some traces of volcanic activity remain at this site, but there no longer seems to be any activity now. All right. There's the grain gatherer. Right, let's grab a gatherer real quick. That's one turn. Uh, get some more tiles improved for when our city actually grows. There. Back to buildings. Okay. Well, we can't get the other resources yet. But we can improve these tiles. Okay, that's fine. Three percent. Manufactured bonuses. Cultures. Map bonuses. There's a lot going on here. 27 turns. Well, that will take some time. So 39 turns until the city grows. We'll get there. Eventually. That's fine. There, the persistence hunting, that unlocks the chaser, and the master chaser. Make sure your prey gives up before you do. A small tribe of friendly locals have granted sanctuary to our beleaguered brood. The brood receives one experience. <laughs> sure, why not? It's not some tremendous amount, but okay. Fine. Let's see. Plus one food. 
Okay, that's three turns. How about some more production? Okay, more production. Okay, maybe we should get a little bit of espionage here. Okay, I don't like reducing my research, but... Okay, let's reduce it a little bit. To get a plus one per turn, at least in gold and espionage. So what can we do here? A seed camp. Okay. Well, that's fine. Better than nothing, for now. And with that said, I think that's going to be the end of this first video. I'm kind of curious to see where this will go. And as I said at the start, like I have no idea how long this is going to be. Playing a full actual game with this takes a very long time. So I have no clue where this will go. But if you would like to see a lot more of this, well, leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, let me know what you think about it overall. I will see you next time.